Guys, me. Ah. Hey, y'all been asking, what does that, can you see it? Where? What does that caboose, what is it doing there on the corner of Maple Street and Newby? Well, I'm gonna show you, and it has something to do with this building right here. But first, a message. If you even remotely think that you will ever sell your house, there are three things that you need to know. The age of your roof, the age of your HVAC, and the age of your water heater. It's best if you have paper to document those things, but if you don't, there should be a serial number on your HVAC or your water heater that will help you find those dates. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I deal with tons of buyers and those are the three things that every buyer wants to know right off the bat. Actually, why don't I just lay back and let the genius behind this tell you all. So we're here with Mr. John Cody, who's gonna be the proprietor of this place. Tell me what your plans are, John. Well, this is the first stage of three different train cars coming. We're gonna restore the caboose. And historically, my building, it's, uh, which is now named the Freight Yard, which will be a music, food, and dining entertainment mm -hmm, place. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna set the caboose over there first, then a flat car comes in, restore it, and then a box car, which will have the full kitchen uh, for the venue. So we're, this is the first phase we're starting right now. We got the car here. I think people are gonna know we're serious about what we're yeah. doing. And so each, to just recap, each one of the cars, you're gonna have three cars total and there'll be a kitchen in one, dining in one. Each car will come to this place. You guys will restore it here and then they're gonna be moved over to uh, the other side. Of the the other side of, and, I'll, and I'll do a picture of that video of yeah. that in a minute. And, um, where the flat car is gonna be so people can come right out of the building and dine outside if they want on a nice day. Yeah. Uh, the building used to have a spur track and they used to load and unload the building years ago back in the 50s. So mm -hmm. basically I'm bringing back a historic yeah. uh, situation, but now we're gonna put it to use for the public. And you've already got, y'all can see them on, there's the tracks that'll be put out in front of over by the actual building, the venue and where the cars will go. Now, I'm gonna get on the other side of you. Let's turn around here. Now, tell me what you're gonna do to cross the creek over there. Well, we're gonna have a big low boy truck like we did before come in here and we'll have to get a crane. Mm -hmm. The crane's gonna pick it right up. These are called trucks, the wheel sections. They stay separate. The car will lift off of those, sit on the low boy. Then we have to bring the track and then set the wheel sections, the trucks, uh -huh. set them down on the track first. Yeah. And you have to position them in the right location, then the crane's gonna set the car, mm -hmm. which will be a finished train car. Yeah. And you're also gonna build, but a, you'll build a pedestrian walking bridge yes. across the creek? that is gonna be a 90 foot flat car, train car. It's gonna be right there between those brace rails right there on that pole and go across. And we're gonna pour concrete embutments and set, get a crane and set it right down. That keeps the people off the Newbie Bridge. So that will actually be a train car that serves as the bridge. Yeah. So That's neat. Keeping the look. That's all right. Neat. We've Thank already uh, negotiated with the uh, uh, Railway Museum in Nashville. They've actually donated some stuff to our venue and they're very excited about bringing the dinner train and making this a stop oh. and bringing people from Nashville and Hermitage, Mount Juliet, here to listen to music and, and enjoy the evening. All right, it's gonna be great. Now, when do you anticipate it will be open? This next year sometime. Is that probably, 2024? Yes, Okay. 24. Right. And uh, I don't really have a set date yet. Uh, we're just kind of cruising along. We don't want to be under a lot of pressure. We want to make it right. Well, thank you, sir. Mr. John That's Coney. sound engineer, Barry Harrison Huff. Harrison, say, wave at the camera, Harrison. That's going to be the sound guy. If you're in music, you always know the number one rule, John, is you always thank the sound guy. Yeah. You always thank the sound The unsung heroes. All right. So here's actually where the bridge is going to go. Instead of having to walk across the Newby Street Bridge, there will be a train car that goes across that. So Harrison, the sound guy, an unexpected uh, surprise, he's gonna take me in here to the freight yard and show me what state it's in now. Here you guys got a really cool mural in there. Oh yeah. Yeah, all right. 
three fourteen. The freight yard. Look at that, guys. We got this mural and it's got, okay, there's Charlie Daniels, Johnny Cash. Is that Merle Haggard up there to the left? I believe it is. And then Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> and you see, they got the bones of the stage, but I, I'm, gonna try, I'm not gonna get up on this. But look how, look at that ceiling that wood ceiling, and then look at how big this venue is. Look at this floor, a wooden floor still in here. But I don't wanna go away, go through and give all the secrets away. I got a cool horse there. <laughs> got some old, the stuff from the old Applebee's. Look at that, they're gonna use that evidently fans, which are really cool. But I'm sure we could go around and dig. I don't want to give away all of John's secrets and contents because I don't want anybody to come prowling around, but there's some really, this is going to be awesome. Y'all look at this. Y'all look at this. I'm, I'm going to dig around and show y'all some stuff. This is an old espresso machine. Look at how beautiful that is. I'm going to get a little bit closer. All right. Cappuccino. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, look at how from the back going all the way. Uh, looks like that train is coming through the wall. How cool is that gonna be, y'all? Harrison, do you say they're gonna paint some more figures on there? Or do you think, do you know if that's done? Yeah, up there. Oh, you have speakers up there, okay. I believe he's gonna build a facade on both sides of the stage. Yeah. That AC and that so there'll be something room, covering that up. That's in there. Sweet. So those cars are gonna go here and you actually walk out those garage doors or roll up doors and out onto those cars. And there used to be a track right here where they loaded. From, from that building onto it. So you will be able to come here and walk straight out of that building onto the cars. And then come shop at Antiques on 231. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mentioned you saw it at Goosby and you get how much? 10% uh, off of $20. 10% oh, off $20 or more purchase. <laughs>